In air racing, it's the man, the machine, and the clock. But people don't understand how hard the race is. You have to try to eke out the very last little bit. You have only one chance. There's one minute, you can fit everything in, and there's no room for any mistake. We want to be level at the gate and finish the turn as late as possible. The planes are rolling at 400 degrees a second. We get a penalty if we are 10 degrees out of position. So you have about a half of a tenth of a second to stop it there. These kind of values are amazing when you think about human reaction. And we're doing this, of course, well over 300 kilometers an hour. G-force in the cockpit is the invisible enemy. It's there to try to knock you off of your game. The Gs we're experiencing in the aircrafts are very, very high. We're going up to 12 Gs. This is much more than the F1 uh, drivers are experiencing, so it's really tough on the body. My body, you know, uh, with all the equipment on, I weigh in at 75 kilos, and uh, you, know, you pull 12 G, we're looking at about 900 kilos of my entire body. Um, and uh, you know, my spine has got to support that, that weight. Your whole body has to be stretched and compressed, but your hand has to be still smooth and, and clean. Your hand weighs 10 times its weight and it's on the stick. And when you're trying to move the stick just millimeters to make the right amount of G, it's very difficult to get that precision. There's a muscle memory involved in this. There's no instrument you can watch. We don't watch a meter that goes up slowly to 10 and then we stop there and turn. It's instant. It's 0.03 seconds to 10 Gs. going in the track, everything has to be automatic. Everything has to be precise. You have a fraction of a second for reactions. A really, really good race pilot doesn't think about anything except flying fast. You make sure that you've got a plane that uh, you know you trust. Um, you make sure you've got a team that you know and you trust. And the team are looking after the plane, they're looking after you. You have to be able to withstand the pressure of all of those external factors as a race pilot to go fast. And that's the difference between winning and losing. How well can you fly on the edge under pressure? If you want to subscribe, you need to click here. And if you want to watch more videos, you need to click here.